Hello everyone. I want to thank you all for coming to today's film showing. A wide range of topics will be covered in this movie including short exposure, trade settlement, AMC's rapid growth, and many more. Don't be surprised if AMC starts to do business in other countries as soon as next week. Now I'll make a very important point clear at the moment. GME has gone up 41% on the German stock market, while AMC has gone up 11%. This definitely shows how Bish feels about the stocks GME and AMC. We've already talked about how we're going to handle reports. We are currently seeing a situation in which the values of AMC and GNGA should be going up under normal circumstances. People are feeling very emotional right now, so it's likely that the signs we're seeing now are a sign of what will happen next week. The main effect of AMC comes from its base in the U.S. In the United States, they can't have as much control over the market as they want because they don't have as much money or power as they do in Europe. I'd like to start by mentioning the wonderful atmosphere around AMC and GME. We will still have problems, even though the U.S. market is growing and AMC is sending out good signs 41% and 11%. Short sellers will continue to put put pressure on AMC, but steps have been taken that will definitely help. Still, when we look more closely, it's clear that there are some things that will definitely get in the way of our progress. For example, if you look at how AMC shares are traded, you can see that there is a clear fake barrier to selling that is made up of 163,000 shares at a price of $4.60. One of the many examples of sell walls that can be seen every day for AMC is this article. This is one of the major reasons why AMC and GM usually see growth in Europe, but not in the US. There are other reasons as well because of the saint. See membership, trading on the market reached a new high. So you can understand what happened, let's think back to May 13th and 14th. That's when AMC's value went through the roof, rising 300% and exceeding 300,200. Based on what was seen, hedge funds and short sellers were trying to balance out the desire for buying AMC. The main thing they did was send all the buy orders to the dark pool. This made sure that trading outside of the exchange wouldn't actually cause prices to go up high because there is no recorded um transactions on the lit exchange and so this is some of the manipulations that we are going to be seeing happening and want the highlight highlight that for this upcoming week but again it's understanding the sentiment for this week is extremely bullish now too take a look at some of the reason for why whilst we are going to be seeing the manipulation and suppression why they're going to be unlimited is first is understanding when we have the cat system which is again the end of this month all the trades marked as longs while they are short will be Exposed by the CAT system, we know that the market maker ends short to use the trick to report trades long while they're short for those of you who don't know many firms in the past before, and the one we're going to be talking about here is Cadell have been actually fined due to the fact that they have mock trades which were short, but they've actually marked them as long. And so this was something that they've been doing for a very long time, they've been fined multiple times, but when every time they've been fined it's for trades that they done three, four, five, six, seven years ago, that they are being fined now, so an example will be in 2024 they will be fine because they marked the trade as long even they a short back in 2018. Now this obviously doesn't help us because firstly, if the manipulation has already been done, secondly, the F is extremely small to how much they actually make, but with the CAT system being impl implemented the moment they do, that will be unavailable to. Know we be alerted and you know notified that, that this is happening, but also because of the fact that we will be alerted straight away, it also just will most likely stop them completely from doing these on mistake and marking and that will of course bring more BU pressure back into AMC. Understanding the T1 is the second step. The value of T1 only matters when the deal settlement is in effect. We'll talk more about this later, but for now, please keep in mind that while the US starts following T1 on May 28th, other countries like Canada and Mexico will start on May 27th. The European Union also wants to use the same method, switching to a settlement term of T1, but the exact date of this change has not been made public yet. At this point, we know that T1 will be used starting on May 28th, but the exact time will depend on when you watch this video. It is clear that the trade agreement is being put into action, which is definitely true. Still, I'm sure that this is really happening. This is because, as we saw in the last movie, the companies that would be most affected by the T1 have worked hard to set up platform structures that make the settlement process easier. That being said, this is only now becoming clear since the T1 was added. Because of this, the fact that new companies are starting brokerages that make payments faster because of the T1 system is a clear and, in my opinion, undeniable sign that it will be put into place. In addition, short sellers are having a hard time right now because they can't settle trades because they don't have enough shares, even though these global platforms offer fast payment processes. 
The following reasons are likely to cause AMC's value to rise significantly over the next week. The first thing we did was watch the European market try to have an effect, but they run into a lot of problems that stop them from moving forward. Let's look at this clearly false information. Next information on the tip ranking ownership page shows that insiders own 74% of AMC. Institutional investors, like mutual funds and companies that are traded on the stock market, have a 12.61% share. It is not clear what share of ownership individual investors have. Since we already know that AMC is mostly owned by private investors, it should be clear to everyone why this situation is wrong and why it is inherently false. A lot of people agree that retail buyers probably own more than 90% of AMC shares, but this can't be proven for sure because the numbers are always changing. This shows how false information is being spread about AMC, making it look like it is owned by insiders when, in fact, most of its shares are owned by regular people. What I also want to say that's not mentioned here is understanding the fact that they are likely, and again, this is always how they change narrative, is that in the past they were talking about how AMC ownerships isn't consistent of insider and now they're trying to say it is consistent of insiders. Because of the new narrative that they are trying to push, so we always going to be seeing these media articles trying to give a false firstly, 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 and bad narrative on AMC with the sole purpose of making you sell your shares in AMC, and trust me right now, is the time they want you to sell right. Now is the time where they want to buy all real shares of AMC, because they have many limiting factors which is going to be applied very, very soon. Furthermore, if you take a look at this right now, and this just shows desperation and understand the scale of this S whole situation, is understanding that. AMC postcards requested by these brokers for their retail holders millions of postcards requested shows over 2,300 institutions as well. So this shows us that right now there were over 2,300 institutions involved with AMC, or at least have been involved with AMC. So first, we understand scale of things, truly how many institutions are involved in this. Secondly, we don't know for sure, but there are a, and again, a percentage of these 2,300 U2, 300 uh, institutions who, who are, of course, naked shorting AMC and who are likely also shorting AMC as C as well. And so you can see how, if AMC were to explode today, how they are going to affect many, many firms are out there, some on a bigger scale, some on a smaller scale, but understanding that there were. Over 2,300 institutions involved should allow you to understand truly how big of a situation this is and why they always want to suppress AMC, why they always want to give a false narrative about AMC, and more crucially, the why they always want to manipulate AMC in order to prevent the price from actually rising. You can also see how hedge funds suffer when they don't have enough privacy. Equity sales happen. Institutions are not giving money to hedge funds because private equity firms have not returned clients' money. This knowledge is very important because these hedge funds are not only raising the margin requirements, but they are also making it hard to get cash. The liquidity woes are also made worse by the fact that private equity firms aren't helping these hedge funds. This also adds to what we already talked about in terms of the upcoming changes and shows how tough it is right now to get enough capital and cash, 